Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. Today we thought we'd do a little something different, didn't we? Yes, we're gonna show you guys a Appalachian antique store. This one right behind us, The yes. Village. And this is one of my favorite for both of us, yeah. isn't it? So we figured we'd start at the top and work for a mayor, right? Uh-huh, and we're gonna take you guys with us. Sounds great, let's get on here. All right. Can't beat that, can you? No, that is the perfectly antique dishes. I love those. I do too and they got the, How cute. the all the detail on it. You yeah the and they're really not bad processes and stuff I don't think. Nope. Teapot's 32. That stuff's always kind of a lot. Yeah but we started off in a good spot anyway didn't we? Yes. I love this land. I'll steal it for you if you <laughs> distract them. Or... No stealing jokes in the stores. I'll never touch them. They're not. You know what that is right in front of us don't you? That is a butter churn. You ever used one? I uh, just playing. I didn't actually make butter with it, but yeah. I've been around these a lot. And Grandma's house and my great aunt and uncle had one, and I always played with it. As you think kid. anybody ever legitimately does that anymore? Like, no, because there's no reason to, is there? Very rarely, really, really, I think. Yeah, there's an old Mountain Dew bottle. I love this. I know. I love seeing those. I love to drink it, and I also love seeing this old bottle with the old. Man with the rifle. Man with the rifle. Oh, hillbilly, I guess they're trying to make it. Made from flavors specially blended in the traditional hillbilly style. Oh, there you go. Yes. I'll take a swig of that one, you. They call it the good old Mountain Dew. We get too hot up, I remember. Oh, no. I remember last time we sang that. <laughs> Brought back some bad memories. Mm. It's not catching, isn't it? I know. I love the salt and pepper shakers. My mama collected salt and pepper shakers, so. I have a few. I like the little strawberry ones. How cute is it? It's adorable. And they got the, uh, the old jugs here. Mm -hmm. Get your little brown jug here somewhere. Yep. <laughs> I bought some of my kitchen stuff here. A cookie jar. All right. So Shane has made another inappropriate joke. Uh, and it's time to send him to the town. Is this the one about stealing? Is this the one this for? Yes. <laughs> I might have a hard time getting back they out of this chair. Right? They break it and buy it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at the moon pie right here. Yeah. Oh man, can't beat that moon pie oh, and Mountain yeah. Dew. I got mooned moon pie. There's and there's a Mountain Dew one. It says it'll tickle your innards. That was their old slogan back in oh the day. Oh my gosh, you can't see it because of the... Well, let me get that out for you then. Why not? How cool. And RC Cola. Your innards. Yeah. Your <laughs> Wooden shoes look about your size. Why don't you try them on? <laughs> I think they're a little bit big for me. Go for a hike in them. really cool. Yeah. Yes. Well, then we got this little barrel. It's a pretty good size, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, look at this redneck putter. I don't know if that's an antique, but. Redneck putter. There you go. Take it out on the golf course. Mm hmm. And over here is the ball jars. Yeah. There's some more kitchen. I like some stuff too. You know about the numbers, right? I don't. Like people used to break number 13, so uh -huh. they're pretty expensive because it's bad luck. Okay. And uh, so if you find one, they're worth more money. Yeah. Did you get the sunbeam stuff over here? No, did not. How cute is that? I kind of look like the sunbeam girl. Well, I say you looked all happy. You turned it on as soon as I turned the camera on. I like sunbeam bread. That's the best bologna it sandwiches. Is. I love sunbeam too. That's funny. <laughs> Got some more mason jars. Yes. And the ball. Some ball and some care. Cur. 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 Yeah. I think ball's the more popular, don't you? Yeah. And there's some actual mason. Mason jars. Well, there you go. Yeah. Got to show more of the cookie jars, don't we? Yeah. Cookie jars were a big thing. I like that one. If you had to pick one out, which one would you get? I've seen the duck ones. I think I like the Keebler Elf. That's a good one, yeah. But I also like that one. It's nice and vintage looking. So many that's a cookie. Oh no, look, there's a fox. Look, I want the fox. <laughs> look how cute. Yeah. Oh. You've already named it, haven't you? Yes. I know you too well. Not sure what to make of this guy. Those eyes. 
What do you think about the red man up there? I love the red man. It makes me think of my Uncle Wally. He always asks if I wanted to dip a snuff, and I'd say, no, nah, I'm trying to quit. That's my dad used to chew it too. I'd get you a chaw of tobacco. You ever heard him call that a chaw? <laughs> a chaw, yeah. Oh, I love Red Man too. I love that. If I was going to chew, it'd be what I chewed. Well, I've chewed a couple times in my life, and it was always Red Man. I've never tried it. It's all I've ever had. Think. Hey, did you see these two clowns here? Yeah. Ooh, no, not those. I was talking about these over here. No. <laughs> this is a big old barrel, and then you got this crock. Yes, and I think those used to be used for like canning or pickling stuff. Yeah. So pretty cool. We see those around a lot. It's an old oil cans and then we got this milk can. You yes. see them very often, do you? No, but my mama and papa had one. It was black though. And here's an old well pump. Mm -hmm. Several well pumps. I like in this section. This is cool, isn't it? Yeah. And then it's, the old cast iron skillet. Yeah, can't beat that. Pretty cool. And then a big old blade. You know where I'd be good at? Dollywood. Close. Where? Cracker barrel hanging right above your head. You know how they put all that dangerous weapons up there? No. Like scythe, you know? <laughs> That's why I always hit you in those seats. These little wagons. I'm loving this section. Yeah, look, there's an old turn too. Yeah. That one's neat. It looks even older. I love this. I like this section too. Pretty Another, cool. Some more red man stuff. Yeah, this section's like being back in somebody's garage. Yeah, well, I thought about that. My papa always used to have a bunch of. Somebody stuff. had one of these. I like those things. Because you know, I'm a Pepsi girl. Too. You're a Pepsi girl, yeah. Yes, yes you are. Here's Mrs. Yeah. Butterworth. Yeah. Don't let you have that stuff anymore, do they? No, you might as well start buying it, Henry. Old railroad lantern over here. Did you see that? No, well, I missed that one. Old railroad lantern. Oh yeah. My family worked on the railroads. Those were pretty cool. Yeah, I've been wanting Same to buy one. Bucks. Buy one that'll work. I was going to use it on my porch instead of a Coleman lantern. Yeah. I'd like to do that. I just enjoy that kind of stuff. Here's a. Let's see. We got a shovel. I mean, like you said, everything you'd ever need to work out in the yard, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Pitchfork. Oh, I'll well, see some. Oh, the old washboard. Yeah. You imagine I'm that? I'm playing their band. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the <laughs> washboard. <laughs> I saw a band play that. It's like an old school yeah, it's cool. music group, and they uh, they played that. There's the burger guy. They got this guy at the burger bar. I forget. Big, the big boy. boy, yeah? Yeah. He's the big boy. I think it used to be Shoney's and a couple other restaurants. Cool. Some more ball jars. Ball mason jars, but I forgot how they play that. Is it with their hand? Something like that. You or don't have the talent, though. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I had to make Shane show you guys this, this old kerosene heater. Mm. I'm pretty sure I've seen one of those used. And then the milk can with the seat on top. I've seen those, too. Boy. Then, that'd get you right now of a good spot, wouldn't it? Shoot. Well, it shouldn't be sticking out. There you go. That's you fixed it. Fix her upper right there, wouldn't it? No, you fixed it. Okay, good deal. Oh, and what have we here? We got an old tater bin here. You put your taters in there. Looks, yeah. Looks like it would hold quite a few, doesn't it? Yeah, it says trash bin. I always saw people use this as tater bins. This there is you a piece of wood. We ought to take that home with you. No, I don't buy that many taters. They just go bad if I had that many. Well, maybe if you had a tater bin, they'd keep a lot longer. Get that thing. Do you know about what time well, look at that piece. An old wardrobe. Yeah. yeah some what a in here. It looks like, it reminds me, I used to call it Chester drawers. You know, chest o drawers. I thought it was Chester drawers. Chester too. drawers. Yeah, not chest of drawers. Chest o, I think, was like, like Irishy or something. Chest o drawers. I thought it was Chester drawers. I did too. It's still Chester drawers to me, but. Yeah, it is me too. But when I saw it written out that way, I was like, what? I thought it was Chester. I thought it was his drawers. Yeah, me too. I thought it, that was who invented it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, these old rocking chairs. I do too. That's a. It's marked down to 64. I look good on your front porch. No. It's for indoor use. Oh, no. Yeah, you have to be a granny to rock in one of those, I think. Well, I'm not an expert on rocking chairs, so. <laughs> I was just trying to fish for things to talk about. Sorry. <laughs> There's a Coke sign. I'm more of a Coke person. You're Pepsi, right? I know, but you 
you see they use that as target practice, so that's just... Like I said, yeah, <laughs> somebody's got a pretty good aim. Yeah. They got the A in Coca. You know, they were aiming for it. Well, true. 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 I just love that old Pepsi clock that was hanging up in every garage. Oh, yeah. Back in the day. I guarantee you there's a bunch of them still out there, probably, because they, so. like you said, there's nobody ever removed it as long as it's working. They probably, yeah. look at this thing. How would you like to? It's a pony chair, isn't it? Yeah, how would you like to learn how to do it on that thing? Doesn't look very comfortable, does it? There's an old bottle rack, too. It's in Bristol, Tennessee. Yeah. A lot of bottling companies around here, so. Yeah. Seven up below there. Yep. Here's your waffle maker. Pretty neat. Yeah. Oh. That's a good one. If you like a better design, here's your one. All right. Pretty. Very fancy waffles. Or an anvil if you want one of them out there. Yeah. If you need one of them out in your shed, you can. Well, you know, I have a road, road runner in my backyard that can use that. <laughs> Not the road runner, it's the coyote. Gosh, yeah. <laughs> Close enough. Yeah. We get the Looney, Looney Tunes reference. We're good. And I had to show this old telephone table. Every time that I come in here, or one of these with my mom, she always talks about having these in the old day where you have the chair huh. to sit with your telephone on the side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hey. and now everybody's phones just attached to their hands, so oh, yeah. it's a different world. Are you, uh, have you used a rotary dialer before? Yes, Thanks. I have. You have, okay. Yes. I, wondering. Honest, I don't know what age that went away. Probably Not before much. my time, but no. uh, there were still enough around that I had to use one or two. Yeah. So. I still remember my phone number when I was a kid. We had a rotary one. 39332. <laughs> we didn't even have. That's you know, Yeah. But the old Clinchfield engine and coal car. Mm -hmm. And this one's loaded down with coal right there. Yeah. Some of Appalachia's finest. Yes, out of Dank, right? There you go. Well, that was one place they had it. Yep, Clinch Coal. Yeah. Dank had all kinds of areas down through there. Oh. Yeah. I like seeing that. I know. Look at the old cigarette dispenser thing. Isn't you know that what that was? Where they'd like fall oh, down the packs. Yeah. That's wild. You don't see that stuff anymore either. That old phone sign. Yeah, that's all the antique store in it. <laughs> but um, I don't know though. Some of the stuff's newer looking. Yeah. Shane had to show us this doll here. Looks like she's had a rough day. I was going to pull it up, but I think it's more catchable than not fetchable. <laughs> the catchable, not fetchable. That's fetchable. a big old doll right there. <laughs> She looks like she's had a rough day there. Yes, she does. She's all spraddled her. out, as they say. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that look at an antique mall. Yes, I always enjoy going through there. I know, I was surprised that only one of us spent money and it wasn't you. Mm-hmm. I know, I, I did get a little score to Tom T. Hall album. Mm-hmm. Can't beat that. So we listened to Fox on the Run and Paradise here in a little while, but. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had fun anyways, even though I didn't buy anything this time. I always see things I want and just can't afford. That's it's me usually, too. It's usually the problem. But yeah. Unless it is like records or little stuff, but that's yeah. okay too. Yeah, it's but. good to window shop sometimes too, isn't it? Yeah. And if you guys like this video, then leave us a comment yes. if you'd like to see any more like this, or if you have any other suggestions that would be similar. You let us know and also give us the thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that. What are you waiting for? Yeah. And we'll see you on down the road. You tell them, Ellen. <laughs>